Good morning guys, welcome back to uh, my video and my name is Joshua and this is Money is Good. So, um, the past few videos we've been talking about investing and we started with um, three types of investor. We talked about um, who is a uh, pre-investor, uh, who is a passive investor, uh, who is an active investor. So by now, I will assume that you, you know where you stand, you know, you know who you are, you know what kind of investor you want to be, right? So um, I know who I am. I know what kind of investor I am. I'm a passive investor. Um, and it fits my lifestyle. I work um, a um, seven to four job every day uh, except for weekends I'm a salary earner um, I do some other side business I bring money you know so I don't really have time to actively manage my investment so um, I don't want to pay the fee to have a if uh, uh, someone manage it for me actively so um, those fees can can be huge you know so I'm a passive investor and I use uh, two platforms uh, so, um, um, it is important for you to know um, your personality, your who you are, and what really fits your lifestyle right now. Um, that being said, so let's jump right into it. So you know what kind of investor you want to be. Um, first, you know you don't want to be a pre-investor because you know that is not that is a no-no. So you have two options, be a passive investor or an active investor. In this video, we'll be talking about how to be a passive investor, how do you start to be a passive investor, what, um, what, tools, what tools do you have uh, at your fingertips uh, that you can begin being a passive investor right now. So that's what we're going to talk about in this video. So. First of all, we know what a passive investor is, someone that actually buys and sells uh, stocks or any other um, kind of uh, um, uh, securities and they're trying to hold it for a while, hoping that it's going to grow for, you know, in the future and then uh, you can get the benefit of having a stock that have grown over a period of time, right? So if you buy stock, say you buy uh, MPW, MPW stock, you buy for uh, $19 right now, um, um, you buy, that's what you bought it for, you know, you see yesterday, you bought it for $19. N the next thing is you, you want to hold it for five years, maybe 10 years, you know, MPW pays dividend, right? So you, you, you buy it and then you're hoping in the next one, two years, it's going to become uh, $22.5 per share, you know, or you open the next uh, three years going to go to $25 per share. I mean, if you buy something for nineteen dollars and it's not twenty-five dollars uh, within five years, and within that five years you've been consistently getting dividends from from MPW, you've made good money. You've made number one. You've made say you get about uh, 0 0.15, you know, uh, every quarter. So in a year, you have uh, sixty cents, right? Um, uh, multiply that by five in a year. That's per share now in a year. Uh, that tells you how much you you've, you've gotten you know in dividend and also the fact that the, the stock now is not selling for 25 something you bought for 19 you have six dollars extra that you've had over over the time um, so that's for one share so if you have if you have 20 shares of that um, overall your gain will be the six dollars which is the difference between 25 and 19 and then you have the extra three dollars you get from your dividend so that is nine dollars so if you have 10 share you just got 90 dollars extra within five years you know for 10 shares of mpw so that is what a passive investor does you know you buy a share you hold it for a long period of time hoping that it grows you know and then you can cash on your money and if you feel like you can sell your shares and you know get your money back you know um if you don't want to sh sell the shares, you can just keep getting the dividend, you know, and um, that's not bad, you know. So for me, I'm a passive investor. So for you, if you want to become a passive investor, 
what do you have to do good news technology is good now and um, a lot of uh, platform are available out there that help you to become a passive investor they have multiple platforms but i'm going to talk about three that i know very well that i've used um two i'm currently using now uh, i dropped one one of them is robin hood so robin hood is one of the platform right there i'm going to leave the link uh in the description below so you can actually uh go there and you know click on it and find out for yourself what it's all about um another thing is if you do click on this link uh disclaimer i'm gonna get a kickback from that because i'm affiliated to robin hood one way or the other um i have an account with robin hood and if i share my link and you join through my link yes i get a kickback and i'll appreciate it you know that's the way you can help me sponsor this video or help me you know um <clears throat> you know keep making videos like this because i just started um <clears throat> and now where you can go is m1 finance um you can also use m1 finance personally i i love m1 finance platform i mean the interface for their for their app uh i love the interface on the on the on the web app you know on the web um the web interface uh, compared to robin hood uh m1 finance is much more automated than robin hood so i prefer m1 finance now I also, i'm also going to leave the link in the description below so that you can actually go there you know and see for yourself what it looks like uh, if you join m1 finance right now i think they have a pro uh, a promo going on by if you join you get a 10 a 10 dollar uh something uh with robin hood if you join robin hood you get uh a free stock that is worth up to i think 100 dollars um so and now and a third one is Weibo. uh Weibo is also a great uh platform uh for that would help um uh, passive investors uh and the good thing about this platform is the 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 minimum requirement to start investing is for you to do a one time um minimum deposit for robin hood i believe it's about 200 and for m1 finance it's about 100 at, at least that's what i did during my time uh for for weibo i think it's also about 100 bucks and, and for weibo for weibo when you join you get uh, a free stock that is worth about I think up to 500 or 1000 and then if you make your first deposit something like that you also get another free stock so you get two free stocks um so all this platform which I'm going to go in detail in my next video and I'm going to show you my earnings and things like that um and how I've been doing in the past you know few few months um all this platform help you to be a passive investor with this platform you can buy stocks free of charge you can see your stocks you can you know manipulate your store you can at least you can resell them back you know if you want to free of charge uh the same thing is uh is is possible with m1 finance and the same thing is also possible with Weibo. so you, you you don't have any excuse not to be an investor once you be, once you you get a platform um which in my future video i would give you the difference between M1 Finance, Robinhood, Weibo, and the rest. And I will, I will show you the difference. And I'll, I will show you how you can actually maximize this uh, um, this account, you know, that you have, and how you can actually uh, do much more than what they can give you from their hand by connecting it to other services that will help you charge and do all, all kind of stuff. But yeah, once you have this platform, anyone you choose to go with, you can start investing as little as five dollars as a matter of fact the reason why i prefer m1 finance to robin hood is because with m1 finance you can buy fractional shares so if you want to buy a share of uh or say uh of apple shares which is about 200 and something dollars right now but you don't have 200 dollars with you right you can buy apple share worth of one dollar five dollar ten dollars as as much as you want and m1 finance will sell that share to you right so you don't have to have all the full amount for one full share that is the good thing about more finance robin hood does not have that and i think they're going to have it at some point um but they don't have that um so what am i trying to say as a passive investor if you want to be a passive investor those are the uh, uh platform that you should be looking into the 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 robin hood the m1 finance the weibo 
Um, there are other ones like that which I've not tried, so I can't speak for them. But those are the ones you should be looking into to be um, if you want to become a past investor. And I can tell you something: if you if you you don't have to do the research because one of the things that put people off to become an investor is oh I have to do a lot of research to know what to buy. Really, not not really. If you watch people's videos on YouTube. You can pick out what they've got and you can see their portfolios most people share their portfolios on youtube and you can actually i'm gonna share my portfolio and you can see what they have you can say okay I, I like this mix right here you can pick you can cherry pick you know of course the price is going to be different but because it's going over time but you can cherry pick the stocks if you trust those people that hey i trust this person have a good head on his shoulder and is making some good decisions and you can from that from that portfolio of that person on youtube or like myself or like uh, like Andre, you know, you can pick from their stocks and, and then match it and then to suit what you really need. So you don't have to really do a lot of studying and figuring things out, you know, just buy the shares, watch it grow. Um, and then come back three months after and say, hey, you know, how am I doing so far? So that's, that is that is what you should uh, you should do if you don't want to do a lot of reading for yourself. Um, I, I will tell you though that being a passive investor is not as complicated or as expensive expensive as being an active investor. An active investor takes time if you want to do it, uh, which means you are buying stock for a short time, suddenly you're looking at the market as the price changes and you're making decisions just like that. You know, um, It's expensive. If you're, gonna, if you're not going to do it by yourself and you're going to hire someone to actively manage your, your stocks for you, your portfolio for you, you're going to have to pay them. Um, so. Um, this video is just to give you an overview of what to do next now that you know what kind of investor that you want to be and, and I hope you like this video you enjoyed if you do please like uh, 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 this video subscribe to this channel um, click the bell button below and then you know I'll be bringing out more videos like this uh, Mondays and Fridays Mondays and Fridays and sometimes I can I can jump in on Wednesday if I see a news that is very that you guys need to know right away boom I'll, I'll get it and put it on the channel thank you for watching money is good again my name is joshua and i appreciate you taking the time to watch through this my rambling thank you guys bye